Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. Today we are getting into the topic Cassandra Multinode. Before getting into this video, I have a new channel called G Vlogs. I've shared the link in the description box of this video in which I'm posting a lot of digital marketing related content. If you are really interested, please do watch those videos and please do support me in that new channel as well. Okay. So before getting into this multi node, I strongly recommend you to watch the single node Cassandra installation video. I have the playlist link of the Cassandra videos, complete videos playlist in the description box. Also, if you want to learn some other big data related topics like Spark, Hive, Hadoop. So that video link uh, playlist link is also there in the description box of this video. Okay, let's get into it. So I have three nodes, three uh, virtual nodes I have created in the, in the cloud, but it is uh, not mandatory that the missions need to be in cloud. You can even create multi-node with three laptops or four laptops or in within your desktops within your lab as well that is also highly possible so now i have three missions and i have the ip address with me now i will show you how to do it and cassandra multi-node installation is very very simple and it is not like if you have already done with hadoop multi-node it is very complex but but Cassandra multi-node is very simple. Okay, let me uh, show you in practical. So I have connected the three nodes, Cassandra nodes in my putty terminal already. So first I'll show you the configuration file. The very important configuration file and the only one configuration file is Cassandra.yaml. And there is only three properties for you, which you need to just make a change and that's it, multi-node is completed. So let me open and show you the configuration file. It is Cassandra.yaml file. Yet another markup language is the extension YAML. Just open this file and this file is highly sensitive. Please uh, edit it very carefully. The very first property is seeds. Seeds means the list of all nodes, the list of all IP address of your node. So I have three uh, node, right? So three IP address, I have to paste it here in comma separated. So, and it should be within double quotes. And double quote is not for every IP address. It's just uh, end, start and end, one, one set of double quotes only. And you can see the example here, IP1, IP2, IP3, enclosed with double quotes. So I have three uh, IP address. So I have to give this IP address in the seeds. And Cassandra is peer to peer. It is not master slave. So you have to give all the IP address of the node and all the uh, configuration file of Cassandra in different nodes under the seeds. So let me show you the second uh, node, YAML file, the Cassandra YAML file as well, configuration file. So I'll just search for seeds. You can see I've just given the same list of three IP address. So you'll be having localhost as default, remove it and add this. And I'll show you in the third node as well. So let me come out from the SQL search. Okay, conf Cassandra dot YAML. Okay, now search for seeds. Okay, so you can see here I have the three IP address. It's same. I'm giving the same in all these three nodes. And the next configuration is you can see here listen underscore address. Just to search for this listen underscore address and you can see here. So default, it will be local host. So remove it and put this IP address. So what IP we have to put in listen address? So you have to put the IP address of that particular node. So in the seeds, we have given three nodes, right? So this particular Cassandra node can communicate with the remaining two nodes, right? And how come this first node will come to know out of this three IP address, which is my IP address, right? Which is the current node IP address, right? So in the listen address, you have to give this current Cassandra node one's IP address in the listen address. Okay. So if you see here, I have three IP address in the seed, but the listen address of first IP address is first IP. And the second node listen address is second node IP. Third node listen address is third node IP. So you can see, I will show you in the second node, it will be different. Node to node, it will be different. Listen underscore, you can see here, here IP address ends with 115 because that is the second node IP address and first node the IP address ends with 178 and that is first node IP address and in Cassandra third node, it is 138, it ends with 138 with this third node IP address, right? So in the seeds, the three IP address should be common and same in all the uh, YAML file across all the nodes. But the listen address is unique. The IP address and listen address is unique because it's that machine's current IP address. Fine. So one last property is endpoint snitch. Search for this. I'll show you in the third node. So just come down. You will see endpoint snitch. Yeah, 
here it is so you will see in your node as simple snitch so remove it and put rack in running snitch so what is endpoint snitch snitch means it's like topology of the network that is the physical structure of your network is represented by this property endpoint snitch if it is a simple snitch then it is for single node if it is rack in running snitch then it is pointing to multi node so you have the uh, definition here you can just read it so copy this rack in running snitch you will be having simple snitch remove it and paste rack in running snitch the same thing you have to do in all other node as well i'll show you here endpoint snitch so you can see here also i am using rack in running snitch and same in the cassandra one node also now save this file now save all this file and now you have to start the cassandra and before you need to have java in your machine make sure you have java in your machine and then for starting the uh, cassandra shell you need python to be get installed that's it this is a prerequisite so i've showed you how to do this in my single node video how to set java path and how to install python please do watch that if you need this information means fine so now you have to start cassandra service but try to start this in background the linux command to start the any service in background is no hub okay so you can use this no hub command no hub is not cassandra command it is a linux command to start the cassandra service in background so this is what uh, the command to start cassandra service i'm running it in background ends with ambrosian symbol and very important as i already told you cassandra is a peer to peer cluster it is not master slave okay so you have to trigger this command in all the cassandra nodes but in, in if you take hadoop as an example it is master slave where where we need to start the entire cluster only in the master node is enough it it in turn start the data node and the other slave nodes thing but in peer to peer cassandra like cluster you have to run the service in each and every node okay admins will take care of doing it with one script they will start in all the nodes they can able to trigger this command but i am telling you uh, in reality we have to start it in each node so run this so i have to run all this uh, in all the node you have to run no hub bin slash cassandra's if and f and then ambrosian symbol and similarly in th third node so i have already started it so my logs are there in no hub i'll show you the no hub file because no hub will uh, get the log and it will store the entire information in no hub and that is also one added advantage of no hub so if i open it uh, you will see this information if you are not using no hub then you will see all this information in your terminal it will be running and uh, now it is in no hub file okay so let me come to the last line so if you just go up somewhere you can able to see you will see this node is up and 138 node is and this ip is up that means this particular cassandra node one started communicating with other nodes so one cassandra node communicates to another cassandra node uh, the communication protocol name is gossip the handshaking mechanism name is gossip okay so in interview they can ask you this uh, cassandra node one communicates to node two what protocol it use that is gossip so now gossip started right so so now you can see in my first node cassandra log in the start log i am able to see the ip address of another node that means the handshaking has started you will able to see this information in the second node log also the noha blog and in third node noha blog also okay now it is started now to verify whether my cassandra is started in single node what we do is we just uh, used to log into sql sh now it is connecting we used to say now working but how about checking in multi node so sql sh is one way to know the cassandra is started or not but how come i know whether all the nodes are started or not sql sh i am going to log it in in login in any one node only right uh, so what what about other nodes are started or not how will i know so there is a admin command bin slash node tool status run this command outside sql sh sometime i have seen people used to run this command within sql sh shell don't do it you have to run it outside so bin slash node tool space status now this will return the list of all the ip address in your cassandra cluster you can say i have three ips and you see the status as un un means up and running i will see three ip address 138 115 178 and the host ids so cassandra is up and running now it's proved now i i want to tell you one more thing uh, sometimes when you will get this error you can see here when you get this error uh, so uh, this error occurs when for example you haven't properly stopped your cassandra cluster and then you are trying to restart it then this will error come if this error comes just share uh, paste this in your cassandra env.sh at the end of the line just 
just paste these two you are ignoring the uh, data center check that's it so group of node is a cluster and group of cluster is what data center is but anyway in cassandra now we are not using any data center we are just using a cluster concept only within a data center that's it but sometimes you will have this error in new version of cassandra i am able to see this error many people are facing it so please add this if you get the error when you start it if you see the error then kill it come back to your env.sh file where you can find this is uh, inside con folder cassandra ifn env.sh open this go to the last line and you can add it here i haven't added but you can add somewhere in the last line ne then save it now you start your cassandra cluster fine so now next what i'm going to do i'm going to log into sql sh enter now i'll create a key space create key space uh, what i'll do i'll just go with some name um, foo okay i'm creating an uh, key space as foo and replication strategy there is two type of replication strategy class simple strategy means creating replication within cluster and there is one more called network topology strategy if you give that then the replication can be get created in two different clusters so if you have four replica two will be in one cluster and two will be in another cluster okay i have explained this in my theoretical video of cassandra you will get more points if you visit that video fine now i am giving my replication as four now close enter so now you will getting an a warning because you are giving total number of replication as replication as 4 but the total number of node you have only 3 right obviously we will get this right so now what i'll do there is nothing wrong but you will just see the warning but there is nothing wrong and replication wise you will see only 3 okay now i'll drop this key space uh foo okay now i'll just recreate this key space with replication as 2 you can have three nodes but i'm going to have only two replica so now there is no warning right so now use this uh, key space now create a table create table uh, test uh, and then column name so i'll go with two column names s and no serial number int comma p name as text uh, and then you for sure in cassandra you need to have one primary key so let me have this serial number as a primary key i created it now insert into table test serial number comma p name values 1 comma gautam okay so now i have just created i've inserted a record now select star from test i see one record here now uh, it is it has to be replicated in two nodes right because the replication factor for the key space is 2 now we need to see in which node this two record with this record sorry in which two node this record has been replicated now for that there is a node tool command that you can use bin slash node tool ifn h local host get endpoints and then you can give your key space name which is foo and then the table name is test and then for which record you want to identify the location first record enter so for this key space foo for this table the first record is stored in this two nodes 115138 the ip that ends with 115138 so now you can insert one more row i will insert one more row two and i'll come back to the same node tool command I, i'm searching for second record where it got inserted it is again stored in these two nodes now you can even search for a record a row number which you haven't inserted so for example i'm giving 100th row but 100th row i haven't inserted but you can still predict where the if you insert the 100th row to which node it goes you can able to predict so i'll just give enter and it says 138 115 again the same node now i'll i'll just insert one more record one more record third record i'll come back and then third row i'll search for it okay now you can see the third record gets stored in 1155 node and 1178 sorry 178 node so that means this 178 is first node 115 is second node so ip that ends with 115 is second 138 is third 178 is first so third record is got uh, replicated to first second node and first node and then if you see first record and second record got replicated to second node and third node okay so now it's proved that data has been getting replicated to different nodes okay and also i have showed you the up and running status of the cluster you can see here So the multi node is very simple with respect to Cassandra and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching